Well, Nancy Tuckman is the one of the authors of a wonderful online textbook in the environment called Healing Earth. Not only covers the principles of the environment, but it also talks about the ethics of dealing with the environment and the morality of it. The problem with treating the environment badly is that the more badly we treat it, the more unjustly we treat the poor and needy people of the world. Socially, segregation in the United States leads to a lot of pain and suffering, and as you can imagine, around the world it's a whole lot worse. This text, this remarkable text, which integrates all three around six major subjects of the environment, is available online for anybody who'd like to read it or use it or reflect on it, and I would certainly highly recommend that. It's a wonderful way to get, become knowledgeable with the principles of the environment and to reflect on our relationship with them, what it is and what it should be in order to build a stable earth. Thank you, Peter. And your leadership in this field has been a big inspiration for the writing of this textbook. Um, that's for sure. We've got you in the textbook talking about the work that you've done and your contributions as well. But um, the Jesuits really wanted to make this something that was available free and online. So basically, you, you really just have to have a cell phone to be able to access it. And um, it's being used around the world. We have at least 130 that we know of high school and college teachers that are using it. And we have with us here um, Bill Anderson, who's at St. Louis University High School, has been using the text for several years. Also, he's been a contributor to writing the text and kind of editing and modifying and helping us get the perspective from the high school teacher of how this text could be best used. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you use it, Bill, in your classroom. I, I, I teach an AP environmental science class. Um, so I, I use it as my main, my main textbook. Um, the science in it is really, really good. I mean, it's right on target. But it also gives me the opportunity, um, using the way the pedagogy is set up, to do both the science and then move from there into ethics and spirituality, and then a call to action, because what we're really shooting for is to prepare these young men and women to get out into the world and be um, productive portions of our society to help move uh, our society forward and to, to solve some of these problems that are reaching critical yeah. level. Having had the good fortune to have six years of Jesuit education myself, in, in my case in San Francisco, I can testify that this really illuminates the Jesuit ideal mm -hmm. of basic facts, intelligence, and then dealing properly and forcefully with the effect on the things that are wrong with the world right. and improving it. Because yeah, you don't want to just focus on the doom and the gloom. You have to provide some hope and some pathway to, to make progress, to, to search for solutions. And just search for solutions in an ethical and moral manner. If you're just to focus on the doom and gloom, you, your wishes will be fulfilled. <laughs> if we all work, and especially if we work together to try to improve things, then we can hope for something much better. Definitely. And this book will certainly help people to get to a much better way of dealing with these problems. Yeah, that's, that's my hope with, with the course that I teach, definitely. Well, thank you both very much for your comments. Thank you for getting this together as such a valuable asset. The 200 Jesuit universities in the world, if they were all to take it up, would benefit greatly. We hope. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.